Now then, um, we're starting to get a problem with this pellet boiler. Now just down there, where are we? Just down there, that is the motor and gearbox that uh, runs the feed auger from this hopper. And um, occasionally over the winter it started to jam up and um, I thought it was the pellets uh, sort of sticking together. Maybe they've got a bit more pine in them than they used to and of course pine has got tar in it as opposed to spruce which although it feels sticky when it's fresh is relatively oil free relatively so there's no point arguing about that um, anyway it's like most things you have to let problems develop for a while most people aren't aware of them until they pack up but if you're aware of them and trying to find the fault can cause more faults so you've got to let it develop a bit until the reasoning becomes well not apparent but easier to deal with anyway I'm just going to on this um, boiler setup when it's in run mode then you press the start button and it makes the auger feed more pellets well when I do that all you hear is a it's like a ratchet that's packed up but it could be the gearbox there's a, a worm and pinion gearbox down there so that might have worn out packed up destroyed itself that sort of thing it's not something that's um, running all the time but I suppose it is subject to a lot of stop start so um, the thing to do here is I'll show you the symptoms and then I'm going to have that whole gearbox and um, auger assembly off the stoker. you hear there that it was something was wrong and then it drove for a half a second and then stopped again it could be that some of the pinion teeth have worn away so it just about grips moves round then can grip and then gets round to the worn bit again Right, I think I'm wrong here, and I don't know whether I can get to you, yes I can. I've taken the fan cowl off, and as I spin the motor, the auger turns. feels quite stiff though. I think we've got the... And I've just broke one of the fan um, blades off. But it feels very stiff in that spinning backwards is fine, but spinning forwards, it just... It won't start against that. If I move this back... quite a few turns then I'll try and start it up again and see what happens Okay, so as you can see, there was obviously a blockage, and now these are bell cast pellets, and they seem to have um, disintegrated. 
and then blocked it up. So the motor couldn't start against the resistance of that blockage. That's interesting. Now then, it's another day and although this boiler is somewhat better, I still think that uh, I need further investigation. So I'm going to take the auger out. Now it's a about a four inch square tube with a round organ running down the middle. So it's possible over time the corners of that box section, uh, the square tube, have filled up at the far end next to the uh, burning head with tar etc etc and that way um, any slight restriction uh, starts to create back pressure so there's that and there's also uh, now the manual for this computer system is a bit vague um, but there is a cleaning time setting now at the moment it's set for two seconds run that's the auger run every three hours and I'm going to reset that to every two hours so that you know any slight build-up can be pushed out and that is under uh, you've got start and run and pause and I think it is under the run settings in the menu so um, I'm just going to unbolt this uh, auger first of all obviously I'm going to switch the uh, the boiler off so that's the boiler switched off and whilst everything's warm I want to undo those four bolts and then draw that whole assembly backwards and then there will be a cascade of pellets into this wash basin whatever you want to call it um, I've taken some of the pellets already out of this hopper through the top just so we don't get flooded out so I'll get back to you in a minute hopefully my shoulder won't get in the way we've got most of the bolts out So as you can see, it's a reasonably long auger. So I shall clean that lot out and see where we go from here. So it looks fairly clean in there. But there could be something the far end. But it don't look like it. But whilst I'm here, I might as well push a piece of two inch box section through there just to make sure. So that's the auger and motor drive back in place. I just need to wind those cables around the motor body to get them out of the way. And uh, let's fire it up. So as you can see, there's the hopper with the auger in the bottom. So I'm just going to put the pellets back in here and hopefully the pellets in the burning head will still be smouldering. I'll wind the pellets forward with the auger and let's see what happens. So here we are, here's the computer. Now I've been looking in the manual and the cleaning time refers to the fan blowing into the burning head apparently but I'm going to change it anyway to see if there's any difference so we press the down button and we're just moving down through this menu to settings then press the right button and then down to normal right, and then press down cleaning time 
press the right button and then lower it by one and then put that in place by pressing the right button so there we are and then we've got the cleaning act is two seconds so the fan will blow flat out for two seconds um i don't know let's put that up so i press the right button that's three seconds press the right button to lock it back just like and there's the pause underneath that so if you go into pause we've got restart 35 so that is on the, how much heat's being drawn and there you see stoker pulse half a second every 220 seconds so it's just slumbering really slowly so let's exit from that exit from that so we've got a pause of 32 seconds at the moment and an actual pulse of uh, 0.3 of a second and it's running on 42 percent okay hopefully that makes sense and let's just go to temperature and running temperature is 55 you can change that in winter you might want to turn it up a bit so that's it so there you go you've at least seen what the auger is like and I <laughs> push this bit of two inch box section down through that auger tube and the ends virtually clean there's no tarry residue or anything like that so that uh, uh, auger tube is clean as a whistle which is great yeah because you never know and it's worth checking so having changed the cleaning time hopefully that will sort things out um, if the manual was what somewhat better it would uh, explain why this needs to be set and uh, um, if you have problems how you need to adjust it but there you go hopefully this has been of some interest catch up with you soon